Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I thought I would share a quick video. One is a haul from In Love Arts. So some new dyes that I will be using in future projects. So I thought I would share some of those with you so you could see um, the most recent one that I've received. I will have coupon codes linked in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing anything. Uh, secondly, I'll be sharing a happy mail I received from one of my lovely friends. Can't wait for you to see it. I am so inspired and um, I thought I would combine both um, both things for you to check out. Uh, as always, questions, comments, leave them below and I hope you enjoy the video. I will have some uh, projects uh, in the very near future showing you how I've used some of the dyes, uh, but always let me know which ones you are most interested in seeing how they come out and uh, what I use them for as well. So the first piece is the uh, little gingerbread um, d dye here with all the different little clothing and hats and everything. Because I got this a little um, after the holidays, I basically decided I'll save this maybe for next time or if I'm making like a little cookie design or something. This, I wanted to try the, like the wonky little frames. I thought they were really, really nice and I can't wait to actually see how those are. I like these little banners with the alphabet because I think they're very useful. So I can't wait to use those. Um, it, they also have numbers at the bottom there, as you can see. So that's a really nice combination. And then these frames, there's so many of them. And I love the little faux stitching design on them. That's actually one of my favorite things uh, when it comes to dies that they add that. So there's quite a few and different sizes. So um, I can't wait to try those. The next one is this little sort of um, backdrop looking uh, plate with the different little kind of like stitch design, uh, like a little patchwork sort of. So that one will be nice to try as well. The stars, I was looking forward to that because I think you can make shakers with these because they've got like, you know, the stitching on the star, but they also have like the outline. So you've got like a bunch of different little um, designs that you can do with this, I think, as well. And then the next one is this stamp that they just sent as an extra. I don't know the language on it, but it looks like it's for when you're sick, when someone is sick and you can send a little something something. So that's kind of cute. Um, so it was just a little extra that they sent in the package. The next one here is this design of like little banners and I really think they're also very cute. There's also the faux stitching in them and then the little um, the bottom design here which is really really nice. So I think these also could be shakers if you layer them but I will try them out and see how they are. Uh, with all the ones I'm showing you let me know which ones you would like to see um, you know a project with because that will also give me ideas. This one, I was really looking forward to this because of that faux stitch design that's kind of like a little wonky. And they've got the two different sizes. So I think this one will be very useful for sure. Um, and they're like the large one is about four by um, six. So it's like the four by six cards. And then this one's like a three and a quarter by about four and a half. So perfect, I think, for. Um, you know, making cards and different designs. So yeah, let me know which one you would like to see a project with um, the, you know, um, what you want, what you really want to see more, because that's sort of going to help me decide what projects probably I'll be sharing with you with these as well. Really, really like them. I can't wait to try them out and see how they come out. And if you have not seen my previous videos for uh, In Love Arts, I will link them below, unboxings and project shares as well for more ideas. And don't forget to use the coupon code. I'm so happy to share this, a little happy mail from my friend, Tammy. So look at the envelope, even the envelope she sent it in was like lovely, vintage and stamped and it's just so beautiful looking. Uh, so the first piece here that I'm going to show you is the faux letters. And um, she actually started trying to make things look very vintage and I love it because truly, I would not know that this was a printable had we not been chatting about distressing and um, making things look a little vintage. This is the letter she sent to me. Of course, um, I'm just going to show you how she did the cover because it's just beautiful. 
totally love it and I love her work. I'm so inspired. So um, I hope you get inspired as well. Um, look how vintage this envelope looks, the tearing, the distressing, um, everything about it is just amazing. I love it. And then of course the full letter as well, the printed, um, the paper, the distressing, everything about it I absolutely love. So uh, of course those of you that love distressing, you can imagine how much time it takes to make something look vintage. Um, and that's another thing too that I'm starting to think about is we are focused on making things look so old. I wonder what the next generation is going to think when they find these packages of things and going, look how beautiful and vintage this is. And it's actually, in fact, something that we've made look vintage, right? Okay, so look at the tiny little journaling cards. I absolutely love them. Again, she distressed this whole envelope that, to make it look so, so vintage. Um, and then this piece here, uh, let me just show you first. I've been so looking forward to some of these stamps. Um, it's the sample stamps that are like the, um, these different little uh, numbers and, and um, uh, I, I forgot the name of it. I've been looking for this stamp set forever. And of course I can't get my hands on it. I'm in Canada. So she sent me a few little stamp pieces, which I so appreciate. And then this is the beautiful, uh, junk mail envelope that she repurposed and uh, had added a lot of the pieces into it. So again, look at the beautiful lace. The back of it is just beautiful distress. That lace, there's like a little um, belly band, all the stamping and distressing. And she repurposed an envelope that was this color already. So I absolutely love everything. Um, look at the journaling cards again, just beautiful. A lot of repurposed materials, but a lot of distressing and everything. Totally what I'm loving to do right now. This is sort of like our Angie inspired projects that um, we've been working on. And so I can't wait to show you more of what that is. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them below. And then I'll also show you what I've been making lately with, um, with these little things. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by.